Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's a uh, beautiful November day, warmer than usual. So uh, we're gonna make some workout equipment, uh, homemade style. I got this idea from uh, DIY Duke. Uh, so we're gonna do it, we'll do a little different than he is, or he did. So we're gonna get this uh, Olympic bar going. So I have a one inch solid bar stock, uh, cold rolled steel. And then we got some uh, black, pe uh, black pipe fittings and a exhaust pipe from the local auto school. So it's uh, windier and crap. Camera just blew over. So I guess I'll hold the camera. Well, anyway, we're going to get this uh, weight bar set up. So I'll show you the parts I got. So we got the one inch solid bar stock. We got the uh, one inch solid bar stock. We got the one inch black pipe fittings. I got one galvanized because they were out of the black pipe. And then we got this two inch piece of exhaust pipe from uh, one of the auto parts stores. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this in here. And then we have this uh, collar that'll hold the uh, weights on, which I got from Amazon. And it's held together by a set screw. Anyway, we're gonna get this party started and uh, make this Olympic bar. Okay, so my camera's fell two times now because the wind, the wind is crazy today. So, one of the things that means to be a do-it-yourselfer and a redneck and a Missourian is you don't quit, you don't give up. So, this is how we fix that. I'll strap, I had a piece of Romex wire, strap my selfie stick to a tree. Now that our camera is somewhat secure, we can get started on our project again. Anyway, so we're gonna take the solid bar stock, weld these fittings on, that's gonna be the spacers for the exhaust pipe, and the exhaust pipe is where the weights are gonna go on. Let's get it up. Clean up the two ends, because that's what will show. This ends won't show, so I don't really care. And now we're gonna put on the exhaust pipe over that. That'll be the exhaust pipe over that, and then we're gonna weld this on. And then uh, we'll put the collar on on the back here for the stopper. Anyway, let's get to it. it on cleaned up all the weld berries 
uh, things like that hole are strictly designed. It's not because I'm a sorry welder. It's just for aesthetics. I think it makes it look cool, kind of like a little Mad Max situation there. Anyway, I'm uh, pretty happy with the result though. It looks good. This uh, bar should be good. We're just gonna put the collar on now and uh, give it a try. Okay, folks, there you have it. Let me wait for seven foot long. We'll have to weigh it, see how much it weighs, and uh, get some weights on it, try it out. But uh, this build was inspired by DIY Duke. Uh, some of the YouTubers out there have stuff that doesn't really work. His stuff seems to work, I really enjoy it. So uh, you can check out his build, he didn't weld it on. He used uh, JB Weld, but uh, this works pretty good. Bar is done. Super excited. Looks awesome. Um, probably gonna sand the rust off it a little bit. Maybe clear coat it. Kind of like the way it looks. So I'll just leave it clear. Um, but yeah, can't wait to integrate this into my workout. Uh, hopefully we'll build a bench and a squat rack soon. But yeah, uh, works good. So I got uh, two 25 pound weights, these are concrete weights, uh, DIY Duke, showed me how to uh, pour those two, work really good, really like them, and uh, put a description and a link below for DIY Duke's channel, and the weight bar came out awesome, so uh, much love to DIY Duke, good job on your channel, we'll see you on the next build.